Hey YouTube, this is Stacy's Music Lab. Today we're going to get into how to get sounds out of the synthesizers on your iPad and into your SP404 to chop up by playing a keyboard. Stick around, we're going to cover this in detail. And then in part two, we're going to get to some real workflow stuff. All right, hi everyone, this is Stacy again. Uh, I guess by now we all know there's a plethora of, of apps available that makes sound on iPads and iPhones and things like that. And that your SP404 is a class compliant device for this, meaning you can really easily transfer sound from this to this just by plugging it in. Um, I have an older iPad here. This is actually an iPad Air 3 with a cracked screen. So I have to use a lightning connector to connect into this. If you have a new iPad with the USB-C connection, you don't need this. You can go straight in and it'll even power your iPad from the USB-C. I don't know if you want to do that, but that's an option if you have a new iPad with USB-C. It does, does not work on the phones. Um, one app I do recommend that people get for this just because it, it makes things simple is, is this. Audio Unit Mixer, A-U-M. It allows you to load up um, microphones, mixers, synthesizers, effects, anything, and configure them in virtually any way you want. What it doesn't do is really record and, and structure songs in and of itself, but you have your SP404 for that, so this is a really wonderful companion app for that. Um, having said that, I know you see there's, what you're looking at right now is the microphone line. I actually have my mic going into the, into the SP404 and I'm recording it and that's what you're hearing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add uh, sense and show you how to play. Uh, the first thing I do is I set up my SP404 so and I can play these synths and they don't interfere with the drums I have on here. Because what happens a lot of times is you, you your keyboard defaults to channel one. You'll turn it on and you'll start playing. And you and you get key. And before, you know, I don't have any synths, but it's already playing the drums. It's not going to be any difference, you know, when I start playing synths because it's still sending that. So I want to, I, I want to, I want to work around that. I'm going to go into my system utilities by holding shift and 13 and then select system, hit your uh, button there. Use your right knob to go over to the MIDI and then, and then roll down to where it says, um, there's two things we need to check here. You need to make sure USB MIDI through is on so that you can freely send data between your SP404 and your iPad. and I put my MIDI mode, I change it to MIDI mode B. What that does is all of the pads receive MIDI data on all pad banks A through E receive it on one and F through J receive MIDI data on channel two. That's fine. So what I do then is I just let it have channel one and two and I work with the other channels. So I set that to channel B and now I have channels three through 10 I know I can work with in here. Exit out of this, make, load up a synth. And on, um, it's really simple. You just hit the plus. You want audio, plus again. I want an audio unit extension and I am going to get the brand new app that came out today up here, King of Digital. It's got 900 presets and it is really cool. Now I like AUM because when I open this, I have my my MIDI sources, we know I want MIDI coming from my SP404, so I'll select that. Now I only want channel three is what I want. So I'm gonna hit none. I don't want any channels and then I'll reselect channel three. So now it's only channel three. I won't hear anything because I my keyboard's still set to channel one. I switch this to channel three and I'm in business and there's no interference. I like this. I'm gonna open this up a little bit and I'm going to load up a piano. There we go. Another thing this allows you to do is, is split your keyboard. So you can actually, you can play multiple synths. I could load up other synths and play them all at the same time, or I can split it and play a couple at the same time, which is what I'm going to do just to show you how this works here. Um, second one I'm going to load up is a pretty old app actually it's called I fretless bass. I like it. It's, it's a really nice bass app. I'm also going to set that to channel three. Hit my little hamburger here. My MIDI inputs. 
select SP404, select none, and then go back, select three. Now I've got that on channel three. Now, but what you can do here is select a note range. This is base. I only want, I've already checked this. I happen to know I want to go up to note 53, which is like F, I think, below metal C. Set that, and now it will only go from the low range up to that. Another thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to transpose this down an octave. Just hit that double arrow, and I'm down an octave. You can also hear the piano, though, so I'm going to take this and make the low range here one more than that. So that would be 54. All right, and so now i got bass and piano. I can trigger a loop over here. And I got jazz going in, you know, just a few seconds here. You see what I'm doing? All right, anyway, that's, I think I'm going to cut it for this video. I'm going to do another video here in a little bit that kind of shows how I go through the setup and my workflow in this. Um, but I think that can get a lot of you up and going for how to get your audio out of your iPad into here without getting interference from your drum pads. I hope this helps. Like, subscribe. We got more coming. Thanks a lot.